Alright guys, we're back here with Virtual DJ Studio 2015. We're going to show you how to do some simple cool things of um, picking out your songs. So, the first thing you got to do is when you have your songs is you have to um, hook up your hard drive. I use an external hard drive, so when I, I always hook it up to the same USB port, so it's always going to have the same letter addressed to it. Alright, so we're going to go to the music database here. We're just going to zoom in here so you can kind of see that really good. Alright, we're going to have a funky little weird angle on that. Okay, so you're going to do your music database. And that's going to be your first tab. To search for a song and to enter in a song, you're going to go right below it and there's this little blank white bar. Okay, and you're going to type in it either a, um, a karaoke song or a music file. So to start off with, what we got to do is tell the software what we're looking for. Are we looking for a filler song that's played between two singers or before you start your karaoke show or after. Uh, it's just regular music with the words and the lyrics and the singer with it. It's the original artist. And over here we can choose either music or karaoke files. And so what I want to do is, I always leave it on all because the only thing I'm searching for is karaoke. But let's go to karaoke. Alright, and we're going to go right back up and we're going to click on our uh, search bar. And we're going to look for a karaoke song now. So the karaoke song we're going to look for, uh, let's just put in some Johnny Cash. Alright, so we're going to do Jackson. And you just... If you know your code files, you'll know CB is Chart Buster. So we're going to just pick a Chart Buster. I know a lot of people like Sound Choice, but to save and get this baby rolling so we don't have to search, uh, it doesn't take too long, but we're just going to do it simpler. So we're going to click on the Chart Buster, and this is Johnny Cash and uh, June Carter. And uh, now to enter it in, to, to put it into our karaoke queue, all we're going to do is we're going to go to our keyboard, and we're going to hit... F4. So we we hit F4 after we highlighted the uh, karaoke song we want, and it's going to bring us to this. It's going to already highlight it for you. So now all we have to do is enter the name. So we're going to say Craig and Larissa is going to sing that. We hit enter, and it's going to lock it in. Now we zoom out a little bit. You're going to see some more features, and they're going to be right down over here. And we're going to do a thing called Save That Singer, as you see there. So we go over here, we're going to hit Save Singer, and it's going to bring us over into another tab. That tab is going to be the Save Singers tab, okay? Once we have them in here, as you can see over here, it's Craig and Larissa, and this is our song that we're going to do. So that's pretty much it over here is the key the killer thing about this is if we're going to set that key to be different let's enter in another one uh, let's use Adele for some reason I'm always stuck on Adele and Johnny Cash whenever I want to uh, show people things so uh, let's just go to rolling in the deep and we're going to once again we're going to hit our F4 key it's going to bring us there and let's going to say some girl named Susan that I've just made up wants to sing that song now once Susan goes to sing that song let's say she wants to drop that down a key so we're going to right click on her name and we're going to go down to where it says set key adjustment let's say she wants to bring it down a step we're going to go down a step and then it's going to show us right here. Now, um, to cue these up, now they're ready to be played. Alright, so once again, if we go over to the right side of our software, you're going to see it right over here. We got add, remove, move down. We can also move one, but since we clicked on our top singer, it'll only allow us to move them down, of course. Then we're going to remove that from our players up here uh, at the top. These are all of our karaoke players. It's going to remove that off of there automatically. It won't keep it there once it's done playing. Uh, also down here we have the Save Singer, but they've already been saved. If we go down to Susan, now our Save Singer pops up. We can save her. And when we save her, it's also going to save her key preference. Alright, let's go back to our tab 
of the karaoke queue and now we can we can either drag and drop this up here or we can hit launch and we're just going to go down here to launch and then you're going to see how that's going to start playing there kind of get you fixed up here so we hit launch and as you can see now it's going to bring it up to that first karaoke player now we have our singer screen up here that is and somebody should be singing by now okay now down here we have our way of looking at the singer screen if you're in a setup to where you can't see your actual singer screen you can see it all right here okay so that's how you start a karaoke song now if you notice too it's taken that person out of the list down here at our karaoke queue and when we're ready to do another one all we have to do is hit launch again or drag and drop it as you see it brings it up and it's on a it's going to automatically lower that key one step it's going to show it right in here and I'll zoom in so you can see that see how it says key minus one and this is our key function right there so we have our this is where we control our key whether we want to bring it up a step or down a step and then this is our volume this main one and so each one of these is going to be karaoke players so we can if we wanted to let's say we wanted to surprise somebody and we wanted to put a song in for them uh, sometimes I got a karaoke singer gets a little excited about uh, knowing that they're gonna sing but once I say hey you wanna sing a song and I start their song they'll do it and they enjoy it so sometimes I can put that right up here and it won't show it up as my next singer and I can just stick them in anywhere without anybody knowing or if I want to sing I can put one up there and then if the rotations low enough and I feel comfortable that it's time for me to sing that way I don't have to keep myself in my my uh, little singers cue list down here um, and it won't show up on my screen let's shut that off for now so you know as as you get singers they're gonna show up there so I'll just kind of click a few of them in there. I can just go to my, you know, my uh, save list here. We'll go ahead and uh, put some people in here and uh, show you that. Uh, the way I have it set up is that as I put in singers, it's also showing it connects to Facebook. And so it's going to show their current Facebook picture and I'll show you how to do that that's pretty simple once we we have a singer in there we're just gonna go to their actual name we're gonna go uh, let's I'll go to save singers for right now and I'm gonna click on a person here and then it's gonna give me a preview of their picture once again we'll kinda widen out so you can see what's going on so it's gonna give me a preview of their picture so I go to my save singers tab it's the third tab over to the right I click on the actual name, their name, and I'll go, let's say, we'll do Justin's. And then what I want to do is I want to go over here to the properties, which is right under the picture. I'm going to go properties, and then it's going to pull up a little dialog box. And then once again, it's going to have a picture. I can either browse for a saved picture on my computer. I can capture one if I've got a, 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 a camera on my uh, laptop. You could have a take a picture with that. Um, you could clear that pic out of there and just use no pic. And then uh, we can connect with Facebook. Um, and then, of course, the other one's a done button saying that you finished. So basically, I click on Facebook. And then what I'm going to do is enter their Facebook code. Now, that's going to be a code. Let's just pull up Facebook here. All right, we're going to pull up Facebook and then in your address bar uh, we're just gonna go let's see here I'll do mine when you go to a person's name you type it up here where it says Facebook but in the actual address bar we'll zoom into that 
and what it's going to do is where you have the forward slash and then sometimes there's a question mark there if there's a question mark you got to go between the forward slash and question mark if not you're just going to go right after the forward slash you're going to highlight all of that so we would highlight all of that I'm going to right click on it copy it I'll minimize that and let's cancel out of this one and we're going to say done we're going to go to my name on the screen here down here we're going to go to my name and then I'm going to go over to my properties which is over here I'm going to click on properties it's going to pull that dialog box up again and then I'm going to go to Facebook and then it's going to have the default name that you enter in there but then I'm just going to right click and paste that thing we got off of Facebook I will hit OK and as you see it's found me and then I just click done at the bottom here <coughs> and now now what's going to happen is when I enter in a song let's say uh, I want to do some uh, Usher I never do Usher uh, you got it bad it sounds good I'm going to F for it enter in my name hit enter and then it's going to automatically put my new picture up so that's how simple it is putting a singer in it's really not bad at all put you through it I'm going to save it right down here when it's my turn to sing all I got to do is go to my karaoke queue enter it in or you know highlight it and then I'm gonna hit launch and it's gonna automatically take it to my first karaoke player up there there you go that's some stuff on virtual DJ the new stuff virtual DJ 2015 how to enter in a singer's name some of the cool features take care don't forget to subscribe and comment